Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to try and make some shoes out of sequins. I got uh, inspired from this channel I watch. Um, she paints shoes. She can turn any shoe to a amazing shoe. She don't care if it's dirty. She can clean it. She can do whatever. And she loves to paint and she can customize anything. So I got inspired watching her channel. So I'm like, you know, I want to make something. I'm going to plug that glue gun until I need it. I'm going to burn my house down. So, uh, she's on YouTube also. I will link her channel below for y'all can check her out. Because when I say she's amazing, she's amazing. So, um, what, I, what you'll need is some sneakers like this. And I got pillowcases from Hobby Lab a long time ago. And I ain't did that. But one thing, with I made this sequins pillow with this African looking lady on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. I supplemented, uh, well, it, I used infusible ink. I did a video on it, but I ain't used, oh, shit. I ain't used the pillow. Damn it, y'all. I didn't use the pillow, if you can see it. And I might cut it up and get the sequins. Now, another thing that inspired me to make sequins is because I got these shoes my little girl bought me. And everybody at work or everywhere I go that know me, that knows I craft, was like, oh, you made them shoes? And I'm like, no, I ain't do them. So I'm going to try and do something today. I was going to use this ribbon I bought from Hobby Lobby, which was on sale 50% uh, off, I think. But I cannot find my other one. It looks like this. I'm pretty sure this would have worked perfect because it's already cut and I would have just had to layer it. If that makes sense. So that's what we're about to do. So I got me some E6000 glue. I need some scissors, glue sticks, because I might use a glue gun also to dry the process up. Uh, I got these from Michaels. Uh, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with these yet. They are uh, heat activated um, adhesive. They like little sequins too. They're pretty. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is uh, cut the pillow up. Hope I don't regret this, y'all. I, I have not never done this i swear i have made a shoe i spray painted if you go back and look at that video that's the last shoe i did i was upset but the lady miss sherry gardner is very inspiring and she's amazing y'all gotta go check her channel out i promise you when i say she's amazing she took a regular shoe a regular shoe and made it look brand new so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick some paper down at the tip like to make the shoe bunch up plastic bag whatever you got whatever you can use because i needed to sit up for me so i might need a lot of that like i said y'all know how i am i just think as i go i don't have no plan i get an idea and i'm like mm, let me try so i always try on camera but uh so we're just gonna put this pillowcase up hope i don't regret it because it's pretty Look at the zipper. I need to keep that. Okay, so I'm just going to snip right there. And then I'm just going to cut. Now, I always record from my phone, so I don't know how this video will turn out. I pray it turned out good because I need it to. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut the back and off here. Hopefully, my baby be home by the time before I upload this video. She can edit and make it go faster for me. I'm messing up these little bit of this here. Fuck it. Rip it. Rip it real good. I don't know if they... Okay, we just gonna start from here. Shit. Okay, we're gonna take our first shoe and we just gonna measure. I probably could do the whole shoe at a time. We just had to cut. Huh. So I'm just gonna play with it. It just be cutting. Maybe I should have glued it down first and then try to cut. But then I'm scared it might not come up. So 
It's raining out here. It's thundering and lightning real bad, my baby. Hit the skate rink. Oh, yeah, that's going to be pretty. Okay. So we're just going to... I think I want to glue it. I'm just going to glue it. So we just work from there. And hopefully, I don't make a mistake. But I feel like I should do it. I feel like I should do it in layers. I just don't know. kind of want to turn the camera off and try it, but... Pretty if I did that hole right there, and then I had to cut. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna glue. I'm gonna use E6000 and glue gum because I want it to be able to stay, but I want it to be kind of dry now for all the pulling and everything I be doing. You gave me some tips for this glue. I never had no tips on. Don't know how to use them. That's sad. And like this of course Josephine duh okay um, I use this one this one's cute I don't know if y'all can see or not but I hope y'all can okay so what I'm gonna do is start from the side I might need to just Let's do it from the side. So I'm going to put up glue here. The damn little thing don't look like it's going to work, y'all. Yeah. That with the paper in the inside come in because you need something to bunch it back up. You might have to cover the whole shoe mess with me because you know I'm like, oof. See that? That's cute. Okay. Let's see, can I cut some off and just work with that? I don't mess it up and then I need it for the other shoe and it look all jacked up. Should have just cut it in half. So I'm just gonna Wing it. Let's just cut. Should gonna leave extra um, out just in case, cause girl, I don't know what I'm doing for real, for real. Okay. sequins everywhere so we're going to try to make it some better scissors these little damn things here going to break my hand I want it to be tight as possible so I'm scratching the material I might not be scratching too much because I need something at the top. 
So I'm just, we just gonna wing it, y'all. As always, we just gonna put glue. This damn little thing, I might need to take this damn thing off, but it ain't working, baby. Sheesh. Might have kept it on. Just spread it with good cards. Yeah, we'll make it work, honey. This glue stink. be sleeping on me from Mississippi, I'm telling you. I didn't put all of the glue gun and stuff under there. That's another reason why it ain't go hit and see a glue gun kind of stop shit from really pulling to me. I don't like glue gun, but it will like speed up the process of the drying time. I decide to do this look if I aspire to y'all. Y'all please tag me and let me know. Don't sleep on me now. Look at that. I hate the damn glue gun. Shit, y'all. Damn it. Fuck. The damn. I'm pressing too hard. So don't make the same mistake I did by pressing because that glue is coming through. And once that glue dry, you might not be able to remove certain sequins. So. Just gotta be careful, but I do want that tip laying down. So I'm gonna cut that. Okay, let's see. Okay. Should I put something? I need to put something up here. That glue is like trying to come through that fabric. So I would suggest not pressing it for real. And then just kind of. No, I know I'm pressing it, but I ain't pressing it too hard. But the easy thousand shit coming through there. I hope I don't regret doing this because, Lord, I've been wanting to make me some shoes. I had these shoes since summer uh, from Michael's. They were like 2 or $3. I kept saying I was going to do some to them after I did the ones that I painted. I messed up them. I ain't want to paint no more because that paint didn't work out so good. Let's so, right here. Yeah, you're trying to see the tip, but I don't care. Like I said, it's a try and error. I'll we'll fix it later. So what we do now, we're just going to put some glue here to make that stay. Because that E6000 takes a minute to dry. So we're just going to put that right there. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same over here. We're going to use the glue gun because E6000 is stinky. Put some more of that there. I don't know. Yeah. And just to hold it down, we're just gonna lay it down. We ain't gonna press too hard. But that one right there look already sticky. So maybe I can get some glue or some oil or something and get that off. Fake no posh remover or something. I don't know. We'll figure all that out later. So right now I'm just going to. I don't even know if I want to cut. The opening for that one. I just kind of want to leave it.
got some sequin shoes. I, I really haven't said that already. But we got them from like City Trend. Me and my little girl got some. And like, they pretty cool. So. so we just gonna glue this down here. Trashy. We're just gonna clean it up when we get done. We'll cut that little bit of the seam. Ow. Oh, yeah, you put your eye away. Wear some glasses or something with this. The damn shit sequence is popping everywhere. Motherfucker getting your eyes, scratch your eyeball. Lord Jesus. Just close your eyes and cut one. Jeez, they popping everywhere. So, so far, this is what it's looking like. I'm going to go back around and clean up when I get through with everything. But, look at that. See that glue right there? Let that dry. We'll come back and trim it again. Get all the little excess from right there. Okay. Should I leave a little white part? I think I will. Just kind of make it look like, you know. So, so far, it looks like trash right there. I'm going to trim it up some more. Close your eyes, cut because this damn thing is popping. Should have left it alone, huh? Good to it. I'm trim that too. I'm real life closing my eyes out. The two things is popping. Still gonna go back around and clean up some more. But you see what I'm doing so far. Just gonna cut this one. I just got that little pink ribbon looking stuff on it. Whew. So I'm just gonna come in with the scissors again and cut the little white part out. Like I said, I ain't trying to get it perfect. My first shoe. It is what it is. I know my do's and don'ts next time. So, I ain't trying to be perfect for all you perfect mugs that be on here. Look at my table. Okay, got it. 
look at that. She's missing a lot of sequins. So This is aggravating all this stuff. Okay. I'm going to do ugh, the back. Should cover, I think I should cover the whole shoe. So, I just leave that one little white part out. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to put some glue. Right there, like close as you can for the sequins. You know, she didn't need to be going the same way you think. I need to rub. You need to be able to rub all. You know what I mean? And they glue got that one. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and. And you don't have to do this. You can go to Hobby Lobby and get uh, some fabric. They got fabric, sequin fabric. They got all that shit. I just used what I had. I ain't doing that with it. Just sitting there, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get as close as I can. I'm going to line it up and just start gluing, girl. Just start gluing. We just going to glue down because you want to do a little extra hanging off everywhere because of the you don't know you know what I mean I took that little ugly looking screen it won't look so you know made Tuck that over there on that one. You don't see it for real. They just kind of run into each other. <sighs> so we're just going to keep rubbing the E6000 all the way around. paper towards the back where it can help you kind of mold the shoe without it sinking in. Damn, $18,000 though coming through. So I would suggest try not to press so hard. That's all I can say. I'm going to only do one shoe, y'all, because in everywhere. Just wanted to show you what you can do.
some stuff out the camera and putting it over here by me. Like y'all can see from all the way over there. Said, I ain't trying to get them perfect. I know my flaws. The next time I do it, just trying to get your video out here. the new 40s on the cheese. I'm so sick of this blue gun. Sheesh. Snapchat. I'm about to get paid. Yellow diamonds on me look like they're in the So just go around and just cut. And touch up with glue if you need to. And then get some better scissors than me, child. Because I just be working with what I got. But it is a little frustrating if you got bigger hands and my hands are big. You can also use a Zecto knife, but I be scared I'll cut the shoe up. So that's why I'm using the scissors. Time I just have some better scissors. Just keep going around cutting. Just need a shoe stand or something. My hands ain't worth a poop. Uh, Tell y'all, close your eyes cutting this shit. This shit flying everywhere. She getting your eyes. This ain't gonna, ooh, they ain't gonna play with you. I'm telling you. Any perfections like the glue getting on your bottom of your shoe, you can take something like a uh, acetone or a uh, finger polish remover, a, a degreaser type different thing. So I love you to just rub off if it's, if it's that uh,
like I said, y'all, it's not going to be perfect. But you can get it perfect if you really got that much time in the world. I don't. I just wanted to make a shoe. Trying to cut my eye closed. <laughs> the things to be cutting my ankle so that's why I'm cutting it to where it's just on the edge you know so you gotta put your shoe on you don't want the ankle to be agitated with all the damn sequins put a little glue put a little rim at you want it to stay You can't tell me we ain't no beautiful crafting black people. White people all, we all beautiful, we all crafty, baby. You cannot tell us we ain't got no talent. And you can't tell me you out here selling your cooter for $40. You can make $40 just as quick doing some shoes. Get your old pair of shoes, girl. Go to the flea market. Color your picture, stand outside the store. I'll be seeing selling your soul to the devil trying to make no money. You can do so much. Get your piece of paper and turn it into a damn gift box, girl. I be trying to teach my little girl. It's money out here. You ain't got to go out here and be stupid for no man. You ain't got to be out here stupid selling your body to the devil for nothing. You can make some money. I can make any jewelry. I can turn anything to an earring, baby. I can if it's hard enough. It ain't. It can be a damn sticker. I can make it out of something. But if not, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm always looking for a way to make me some money. I don't want to work for nobody, but shit, I have to work because where I'm from, they don't spend no money. They just like, oh, that's too high. They cheap. Yeah, the majority of my stuff come from out of town. People from out of town support more than your hometown. A stranger come over here and sell some shit. They quick to buy it. But, you know, because it's you. They don't want to. But as soon as I get big in the making, get my own store. Everybody gonna be like, oh, I remember when she was making videos. I remember when she was doing this. Yeah, but you ain't remember sharing nothing. You ain't remember buying nothing. So keep that same energy when I get where I gotta go. On everything. I don't, I don't go outside, y'all. I, I go to work, I come home. I don't fuck with nobody. Because people fake. Your own friends be fake. They won't even share your shit. Or nothing. But be quick to want some shit, though. That's why I stay to myself. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. I just feel like it should be cleaned up some more. So, I think it look good for a little bootleg shoe. What y'all think? I just gotta let it dry and all that good stuff. Let's see, let me see my little dusty feet. out baby you don't know damn yeah yeah you just gotta clean up you just gotta clean it up baby you're good in there nice one well shoe cam tell me what y'all think don't let them pay attention to them your ankles but tell me what y'all think baby you let me y'all have a blessed one